The uniqueness of uh, Horn of Africa Mission Engagers is in that it is working as a process. So we do have a motto. We say multiply disciples, mobilize uh, believers, and then uh, send workers. This is just an overview of where we are and what we are trying to do. This is Ethiopia and this is the Horn of Africa uh, region. So uh, the, the number of you know, the pins do not necessarily show how much workers we have. We have over 300 workers all over uh, the Horn of Africa region. So, uh, but it's it, it just a little bit how we are clustered. So this is one cluster, we call it hub, the Western hub. We do have coordinators there who are working, uh, mostly working among the unreached um, Muslim groups. My highlight has been uh, the, uh, I call it uh, a church multiplication, disciples multiplication without birth control. So I have been laboring as a very, you know, passionate soul winner winning people one by one. But the last four years since I joined, uh, you know, I, I merged uh, Mission Engagers with Horn of Africa Evangelical Mission to form Horn of Africa Mission Engagers. I am, I can say, swimming in the ocean of miracles. With the multiplication of the disciples, just in the last quarter, we were able to uh, see the reproduction and multiplication of more than 380 churches. In three, in three months' time. Uh, in, in the last four years, uh, God has helped us to see uh, the multiplication of more than uh, 7,000 churches in just four years' period. The northwestern part, uh, which is predominant uh, traditional Christians, so what we are working is we are working in the among uh, the reformers, in the reform group. This is the northeastern part where they are unrich people groups. Uh, so we work with evangelical churches. Uh, we do have coordinators. This is the south central part where there are uh, radical uh, Muslim and unrich people groups. So uh, this is one cluster area. The challenge is always, you know, to uh, respond to the need of people dying every day. Every day, people die and go to hell. So, you know, the, the challenge of, you know, stretching forward spiritually and with the provisions, that is always a challenge. And this, as you know, the eastern part uh, is mostly a Muslim dominated area. We do have coordinators, so we work in a very culturally sensitive way. We do have presence also in Somalia. Uh, and, and the other part is the South Omo Valley where there are more than 16 minority tribal groups. We do have uh, work also, coordinators there. So it is showing how our workers are clustered. So we basically work from about six hubs, six hubs. So we do have about a three layer structure. The regional coordinators, strategy coordinators, and grassroots uh, mobilizers and church planters. What inspires me to join the organization? Uh, in general, my calling and uh, the clear guidance of God. My educational journey, if I begin from my most recent educational experience, it would be the Witten College. So I studied there as a modular student and graduated uh, December of 2017. I studied um, evangelism and leadership. It was a very good experience, of course. Uh, prior to that, I have the privilege of attending Addis Ababa Bible College and took my BA degree in Bible and Theology. And prior to that, I got the privilege of attending Bahadur University, where I studied uh, electrical technology. So those are my main educational exposures. I always wished I should have studied social studies, social science, but it helped me to, to be very much strategist. So my strength is in vision casting, strategies, so 
it has helped me even if I didn't work in the marketplace with that. And of course, the Bible and theology, evangelism and leadership are exactly fitting to my career as uh, a mission worker. My name is Tariku Kirsima and I am married to Freyot Monde. Um, we are married for about 13 years. We have three kids, Yomed uh, and Barok, 11 and 9 years old, and also uh, Abigail, who is three-year-old girl. What do I do for fun? Uh, what gives me energy is really to hang out with old friends. But I also um, like uh, you know, nature. So uh, sometimes I take my family to places where we can experience nature. And uh, along, I also want National Geography, you know, um, watch how the animals are there and things like that. If Ethiopia would be a product, what would it be? Where it begins, so it's a land of origin. So if anyone wants to begin, he or she has to go.